feel like I wasted so much of my time watching this film. Yo, what's poppin' people? Cold with side grain. Back to get another video today. Your first time finding my channel. You make sure to subscribe button also by the video. Yeah, I took the bullet for you guys, bro. I, I I somehow managed to get up this morning, eat some breakfast, and, and sit down and watch this goddamn babysitter too, bro. Look. If you guys know me, you know that I really, I enjoyed the first one movie. You know what I'm saying? The movie had, the first movie had crazy, stupid, but it also had that good on the left side. So it, it mixed together and it came out to be an all right film for me. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is an honest review just for me. Maybe you guys have my different feelings than me. But when I saw this film, bro, I said, what the hell is going on, bro? What the hell? What what made the first film so good? They completely abandoned in the second one. This movie is it, it, like there's no good in this film. It's just straight stupid to me. Like, bro. And I'll talk about the death scenes in a minute, and and and, and how all these goddamn crazy people would be were able to come back from the dead somehow. I'll talk about that. But when they when you figure out how they come back, it's just as stupid as them dying in the film. It's just, it, it's stupid. It, it's the whole movie. It's stupid. Um, I'll talk about. I'll get into some things later in the film. But we go through you know Cole being all grown up now. That's the big thing. Uh, years later, it's Cole all grown up. And I swear, I don't know if it's bad acting in this film. Or I don't know if it's bad writing. I cannot tell which one of them it is. But none of these characters' performances are believable in the in the slightest. I I I could not. I'm like, bro, this is either some really bad acting, or I don't know what the hell is going on, bro. The the thing that made the first movie so good, they just abandoned here completely. Oh my god, like, some of y'all are gonna enjoy this film. Some of y'all are gonna enjoy it. I did not enjoy this at all. Um, you have this new villain character, uh, Madeline. I mean, she's enjoyable for... I, okay, I'll say the material she was given, she did her thing with. I ain't gonna lie, she did her thing. The material she got, she did her thing. But everybody else, when they come back from the goddamn dead and you see how they do it, bro, oh my god, you just... To me, I was just like, bro, why even bring them back? If they just gonna be this stupid again, they just gonna be just completely dumb. <laughs> and it's like, and it's not like I, I get. You know what I would say? This this movie's a roller coaster ride. I would say that. I didn't write no goddamn notes. I, I gave up on the notes parts. But I would say this movie is a real roller coaster ride. You know what I'm saying? It's strackle. It's a roller. Okay, I'll say this. It's a roller coaster ride that you go up. And you go down, but there's no more going up. You just, you're just still, you're just going down forever until the movie ends. There's, I mean, there's parts I enjoyed in the film. I'm not completely basking on this film, y'all. There's, there's parts I completely uh, enjoyed in the film. Um, one thing being with uh, at this this new girl. I don't know what the fuck? What was her name? <laughs> I think it was. Uh, oh my god! I didn't know she's in the movie. Uh, <laughs> This girl right here, I can't, I could not say her name like Ploby or something like that. I could not say her name, but I mean, her when they get this little romantic thing going on with her and Cole, you know their little story. They they go through together. You know, I you know I thoroughly enjoyed them. I enjoyed those two together. I think that was the best part of the film when these two were actually together and they're like fighting off everybody else. So I I really enjoyed those two. But ain't nothing else going for it. I'll, I'll talk about this. The deaths. The deaths. Oh, my God. The deaths, to me, were so bad in this film. They were terrible in this film. Yo, y'all so lucky I don't have my Netflix pulled up right now. And because I watched it on my phone. I ain't watching it on my computer or anything. So I don't, I don't have my Netflix on this computer yet. But there's a scene, and it's just, it's just stupid, like... This dude's like, man, F this, man. I give up, bro. I, you know, I'll set the scene up, bro. I, 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 and if y'all care about being spoiled, come the hell on, bro. Come on, bro. See, you got these two right here. Like, man, I'm done with this, bro. I don't want to do this anymore. Literally. And it's just like, dude's on the ground. He's like, no! And he blows up. But the way he blows up is like so stupid. It's like everybody's deaths in this movie. Are so stupid. There, there's a dude who <laughs> gets his hand chopped off. Oh, and that too. Dude gets his hand chopped off. It's like, oh, 
Yeah, he get, take account. This dude is real. This they ain't one of the dead motherfuckers. He's the real dude. Other dude. Oh, I mean, other arm gets chopped off. He's like, ah, oh, and then he gets stabbed. Me like, ooh, like it's all this. All the effects are bad in this movie, y'all. This. I thought Saw deaths were bad. Like, some of them were bad. Some of them Saw deaths were really good. But until I saw this movie and saw everybody dies in this movie, and it's just like, wow, it's worse. Holy crap. Um, I would say the the, the payoff is the ending at least worth it, right? Uh, no. <laughs> there's a, there's a, I don't, I'm not going to spoil it, but there's, there's a plot twist at the end of the film. And it's not like a Christopher Nolan plot twist or, you know, um, M. Night Shyamalan plot twist. Nah, it's a, it's a stupid plot twist. It's, it's it's pretty stupid. I ain't gonna lie. It's pretty stupid. But, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. You, you give me some popcorn and I'm sitting down in front of a TV watching this. I might enjoy this a little bit more. But if you're asking me, man, it's... Okay, look. I'm taking the movie critic part out of me right now, right? I'll, if if you sit back and you enjoy, or, or, or you sit back and watch this film, you might enjoy it. You might be like, "Oh, this is a really cool roller coaster ride." But if you like me, man, and you were sitting there taking some notes through some part of it, you're gonna be like, "Man, what the hell did I just watch, bro? What is this? What is this film I'm watching?" It, it's nowhere near as good as the first one. Nowhere near as good as the first one, y'all. The first one, shoot, the first one to me looks like a goddamn masterpiece at this at this point compared to this one. Cold. I feel like no one can act in this film. Every every actor that was in here, I guess, did what they possibly could with the material they were given. But someone effed up. Someone effed up. I don't know who department it was. But yeah, I'm giving this movie a, a, a five out of ten, y'all. And I'm being nice with a five out of ten. But yeah, y'all first time finding my channel, hit the subscribe button for the video. Tell me your guys' thoughts and opinions down below. Did you guys like it more than me? Did you not? I'd like to know. But we'll see you guys in the next film. I'm fixed film. The hell I just say? God damn it.